I'll just plead on behalf of the players of, or about our previous games. I mean, and then on the other hand, I'll just urge all Ghanaians to stay positive and then have that faith in us because it's a, it's a young team, so they just have to, I mean, be a little bit considerate. I mean, it's good to criticize us for us to get better, but sometimes the insult is too much. But. <laughs> The, the Vim no day like the 2010-2014, you know? Yeah, I know. I mean, comparing our uh, era with 2010 and then, I mean, they had, I mean, fantastic players, more experienced players. Thomas is a great player, like, he's just like the box-to-box -box type, so sometimes the kind of players you play with also has its chemistry and everything, so playing with someone like Thomas, I mean, incredible because he makes it look more easy for you because he understands what he's doing. It's not that experience as the 2010-2014 one. And because of that, people feel like these guys, the, the, the Vim no day like the 2010-2014, you know? Yeah, I know. I mean, comparing our uh, era with 2010 and then, I mean, they had, I mean, fantastic players, more experienced players. I mean, you can just name them, but Plenty, I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean, with a young team, I mean, you need time to nature all the guys. I mean, it's, and moreover, um, I mean, football has changed from one phase to, I mean, Comparing 2010 to now, I mean, even as at now, now everybody knows how to play football. It's not about you kicking the ball, no, but based on uh, tactics, positioning. I mean, previously, uh, back then, 2010, amazing team, you know, but now football has evolved that individually we can't compare to them, but tactically and other stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's a young team, so we are adapting to what the, what the coaches, I mean, giving us to to, 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 to play like I, the game plan. I, I, I was everything. coming to the coach, obviously, because with a young team like this, you would agree that the coach needs more of a hand on the team than with an experienced yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think that is what at least helped to beat Nigeria part one and two? Yeah, I think uh, before the game, I mean, the message was just clear for all the guys. It was just like sticking to the plan no matter what. So we just had to, I mean, stay focused and then adopting and then going with the game plan so that really helped and then with the help of the senior players as well you know because i mean most of us had never played any games like that so it was quite nervous and then for me that very game i had to cry to release my stress and everything yeah really? yeah, yeah i was in the bus because i saw the I saw people and I was like, this is Kumasi like, or Abuja? That was Kumasi. Oh, with Abuja, I don't even want to go there because <laughs> with Abuja, when I got there, I was like, immediately we, we saw the crowd, like, they kind of, they were roaring like lions, like, not even the players, the supporters, I mean, the whole place. I don't know, even after the game, you saw what happened. So imagine before the game, war really went on. So, I mean, with the game in uh, Kumasi, I had to cry, I mean, from the hotel too, because I was so emotional. Because it's just like a step you could, to the... You could not believe it. Yeah, because, I mean, I... I mean, it was so special. It was a special moment for me. And I think for the rest of the guys as well. Because, I mean, it was like the final stage and then we had to give everything, everything, everything. So if even before the game you cried, after the part two? After, well, after I was quite relieved because no, when I cried, that means it's like me taking away this kind of, yeah. So I had to cry. I mean, I was crying and then I think Afani John was just there staring at me because I had my headphones on. I just had to, I mean, because games like that, you could feel the pressure and everything because, I mean, and then playing in Kumasi as well, come on. So, I mean, it was, it was, it was amazing. It was amazing. Very nice experience. You yeah. know, it's one thing for fans to feel something. Yeah. And it's another thing for you, the guys yourselves, to feel something. Yeah, of course. If you look around the team, you are young. Maybe we are the lowest ranked team and all that. But what is the vibe that you pick from the team? What do they want to prove? What, what, what's, what's driving them? Like what's... I think what's driving us, it's um, the supporters that we have. Because at the end of the day, we just have to, I mean, provide. I mean, do everything possible, even if it's a point that we are supposed to take home. Because at the end of the day, our family are also there, hoping the best for us. So, I mean, the fans, our family, our motivation, you know, yeah. I mean, you've played other different coaches as well. Otuado, 
it's not just the players that people were an adult for. Yeah. How would you describe pursuiting? What do they bring that's new? Yeah, I mean, uh, like, it's, it's fun. For me, I, uh, you know, I've played under several coaches. I mean, I think two or three coaches yeah. before Otuado. And, I mean, it's, you know, every uh, coach brings, also brings a sort of chemistry in the team as well. I mean, like, he's not that type that would, like, try to, no, he makes you feel that comfortable for you to, I mean, you feel, feeling comfortable is also a step for you to, I mean, bring out what you have in you, because not every player has this um, uh, courage or have this, uh, how do you call it? Uh, Charisma? Charisma, because at the end of the day, if the coach doesn't give you his maximum uh, trust, you are, you are done. When you look at, for example, our last friendlies, you know, um, yeah. like the influence of Pate, a lot of people have said that when Pate is beside you, like you are, you are like a dragon, you are like, you just explode. Can you talk about the influence of Thomas when he's beside you? I mean, you? Thomas is a great player, like he's just like the box to box type. So sometimes the kind of players you play with also has its chemistry and everything. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's uh, the people who look from afar or who look behind because on the field it's a whole different thing as I said from the beginning but playing with someone like Thomas I mean incredible because he makes it look more easy for you because he understands what he's doing most I mean playing with such an experienced player I mean because during the game he tells you okay do this do this so I mean it's, it's all about the chemistry yeah. you guys have and yeah. then the understanding good let's bring it to the Black Stars how do you think you were spotted? Your role as a double pivot, defensive midfielder, or as a single pivot? Uh, I would say as a single pivot, because uh, the coach we had by then, Vicente, he used to play this single pivot. So yeah, I think that was, yeah, it was his era that had the collapse. So. Who, who called you? Tell us about that story. Uh, it was uh, uh, Coach Apia. Coach Apia? Yeah, yeah, Coach, Coach Apia. But he came here with, because uh, my uh, agency, they, you know, they had this, um, how do you call it? Uh, they had this, uh, this affair with our club. So it was like, I was there one day and then I saw them, I was like, because they, they live in Madrid. So they came here one time and then, because when Akwesiapia, Coach Akwesiapia was there, he used to go around, it's just like a coach sure, going sure, to. Sure. Yeah, so they came together and I was like, oh, okay. I mean, I wasn't expecting this, but, and then by then I had already played, I mean, we, we, we gained promotion and uh, I started playing for, I mean, in La Liga. In La Liga. So I wasn't too surprised though, because I was like, I mean, for you to play uh, at the national level, obviously you have to be competitive with the club side. We've touched on a lot. Football, his um, origins, how he grew up in Ashaiman, Tema, you know, coming to Spain, being in Madrid and all that. <laughs> We've not touched on family seriously you've talked about your mom a lot yeah and your sister is just you and your sister but what does it mean for you to be here on behalf of the family your family is the Idrisu family right yeah Idrisu family i'll say that i mean it's i mean it's a privilege to be here i mean i would say representing my family in the diaspora so of course I, there is no one in the family that, I mean, it's like me, me being, um, how do you call it, uh, the breadwinner. So, I mean, uh, though my focus is with the family as well, but it has to be me. I mean, I have to stay focused and uh, do everything possible to just keep the family in shape. And, uh, you, you cannot afford to mess up. Yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't. <laughs> Even if I should, it should be little. It, it should, should be, be little, be, yeah, it yeah, yeah. Be. So, It's been a busy time with you. We really appreciate it. And, do make sure you make your family proud. And of course, thank you so much for your time, bro. Thanks for having me as well. Thanks for showing us Mayoka. Hi, hi. And, Always um, welcome. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we'll, we'll try and make it another time. Hi, Any hi, message hi. for Ghanaians, of course? Well, I, I'll just, um, I'll just plead on behalf of the players of, or about our previous games. I mean, and then on the other hand, I'll just urge all Ghanaians to stay positive and then have that faith in us, cause. It's a, it's a young team, so they just have to, I mean, be a little bit considerate. I mean, it's good to criticize us, for us to get better, but sometimes the insult is too much. But, I mean, we are used to that, but sure. they should just be positive yeah. and then, yeah, 
That's all I have for that. So in Spanish, vamos! Vamos. Hasta How luego. Hasta it. Vamos is like, let's go. And then, uh -huh. uh, so it's like saying, wrapping up, okay, adios, that would be, uh, like, that would be, that would be okay now. So adios. Right. So you wrap up the shoe and then I wrap up the shoe as well. Oh, okay. Um, in Spanish. Well, in Spanish, in Spanish okay. yeah. Bueno. I'll, I'll translate, yeah. You're going to translate? I usually oh, understand oh, Spanish. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. We'll say bueno, so. estoy muy feliz para estar aquí con uh, el Mr. Este. Uh -huh. Bueno, espero que todo salga bien con el Selección, en plan con el Copa del Mundo y eso. Pero bueno, ha sido una buena entrevista y me alegro mucho ver mis... Mi, mi compañero, mi hermano aquí. Hasta las fuego. Hasta, hasta, hasta las fuego. fuego. Hasta las fuego. <laughs> yeah. um, thank you so much. I'm not, I'm not sure what he said, yeah, but something yeah, about him being part of the Ghana national team and all that. <laughs> I'm Gary Al Smith, and it's been absolutely amazing bringing you today's edition of Star Connect with the Vibe BC. Okay. Star Connect is powered by Positive Communications, Platinum Life, Nike Media Hub. Media partners are Joy Prime, Joy News, and Joy Affair.